Gotta buy more. Only one banana remains untouched. We got rid of the jellified bananas. Then we ate the rest. Sorry, mayuri san I'll go buy you some new bananas later. Really? Yay! Okrin and Daru can eat my bananas, but they never buy new ones. I'll be sure to amend that in the future. A bunch of bananas is a small price to pay in order to bring chaos to the world. Kurosu picks the last banana off the stem, leans under the table, and places it inside the microwave. First, let's see if it becomes a jelly man. Ah! Tries to get up and gloriously bangs her head underneath the table. Trying for the clumsy girl appeal. It was an accident. Kurosu gets up, blushing in embarrassment with tears in her eyes. Put the microwave somewhere else. It's dangerous and hard to reach like this. It'll punch through the floor if we were on the table. Chris Chan, Chris Chan, pain, pain, go away! Mayuri pats the back of Kurosu's head, then sweeps her hand through the air. Thanks, Mayuri san. Kurosu pulls herself together, types on her phone, and activates the phone wave name subject to change. The banana activates inside the but the banana inside the microwave slowly begins to spin backwards as the timer counts down. Ah. Kurosu, who is peering into the microwave, suddenly shouts in surprise. The banana has vanished. At the exact same moment, the banana reappears on its stem, jellified. Whoa. It became a gel banana. <laughs> Just as I suspected, the critical variable was time. I was a little anxious about the result, but it all worked out. I outwitted the imp impotent genius girl. Now my position as a symbol of the lab is secure. Oh, way to go, Okabe. So simple, I didn't notice it. Kurosu says with a slightly sulky expression. Oh, excuse me. Your praise does you credit, Christina. But I know you're frustrated to just... You, you didn't think of it first. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can send another D-mail. Kurosu ignores my proud laughter and excitedly starts typing out mail. Gah. I feel like my authority has been on the decline since that girl showed up. That's cool, man. You never had any to begin with. Help me, you two. Okabe, I'm sending you an email to your phone. When did I become her assistant? I grind my teeth in frustration, but do as I'm told and insert my phone into the phone wave. Name subject to change. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna send, Christian? Mary presses up against Kurosu and sneaks a peek at Kurosu's phone. Doesn't matter what it's... <laughs> oh, fuck. It doesn't matter what it says. What matters is whether we can send it or not. Huh? Let me see. Okabe is an airhead. Wait, you there, assistant. What are you typing? You'll see. Ready? I'm sending it. Daru has already set the microwave timer to the X6800. There's nothing inside, but the microwave still operates. Countdown starts from 120. This is where the timing counts. We know that we have to open the microwave door during the operation, but we don't know when to send the mail. For now, we'll do them simultaneously. Kurosu reads, readies her finger on the phone's send button. I grasp the microwave door handle. Mayori seeks cover. Starting the countdown. The microwave timer soon indicates 70. Three, two, one, zero. Kurosu presses send, and at nearly the same instant, I open the microwave door. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. It's working, you guys. Lightning crackles in the air. The cushion underneath the phone wave, name subject change, collapses under the weight. The floor starts creaking. It's exactly like the discharge phenomenon that occurred before. 
I don't think you're supposed to microwave a phone. They're not microwaving the phone. Uh, if you see right there, it's probably very hard for you to see on the um, on the phone. But right there under the H, there's a, there's like a slot that they like holster their cell phone into. <laughs> so they're not they're not putting anything in the microwave. Yeah. Discharge lasts for about 10 seconds. After it subsides, we stare at the phone wave name subject to change with bated breath. Luckily, it didn't break through the floor. Did it arrive? I disconnect my phone from the phone wave name subject to change and check my mail. The person who stands beside me and peers through the screen. Yeah, there it is. Airhead. Okabay is an. There's an email there. It's two of them, even, and they're written in English. The timestamps are from five days ago. First, she starts laughing when she sees the mail, even though she's the one who wrote it. The Okabe in the first one is obviously my name. What does Airhead in the second one mean? English is shaky, but is she saying my head can fly or something? Whatever. I may not know what it means, but I do know this. My assistant is making fun of me. But that doesn't matter right now. Christina, did you send two mails? Huh? No, I only sent one. And you, she saw it too. She really only sent one. But I received two. You're right. I even sent it in one sentence, but it got divided. By the way, what does this word mean? Why don't you look it up? I guess she doesn't want to answer. That reminds me, the D-mail from before was caught up mid-sentence too. Was it? Yeah. Look at your history, I'm pretty sure I've sent Okarin's a perk. related to the jelly milk. Um, Mayushi wants to know why it arrived five days ago. Good point. Didn't the last one also arrive five days before we sent it? Yeah, it did. Is there some kind of rule for when it arrives? Let's try sending more! Mayuri's right. Now that we've figured out how to send emails, we should keep experimenting and collect as much data as we can. Alright, lab mems, battle stations. He's at it again. Our mission is to send as many D mails as possible. Daru, the man. Man, the fuck. Daru, man, the X6800. Your job is to observe, adjust, and gather information on the phone wave name subject to change. Assistant, keep those mails coming. Try various patterns of text. Japanese, English, full width, half width, emoticons, the actual messages don't matter. I'm sure Shining Finger wouldn't be better would be better for the job, but since she's not a lab mem, I'll have to leave it to Kurasu. What about Mayushi? Your mission is to go shopping. Just buy some bananas for now. I Hohuin Kiyoma shall fund you. Wow, you're so generous. I guess your job is opening the microwave. Whoa, you saved the easiest job for yourself. <laughs> no, my assistant's judgment is sound. The key to a successful D-mail is most likely the correct timing of opening the microwave door. Huh? I was just kidding. <laughs> Leave this task to Hoho in Kioma. I shall open this door with precision, boldness, and delicacy. As if it were the flesh of a beautiful woman. Oh, no. Oh, Corinne, that's naughty. <laughs> Furthermore, the current operation is top secret. We must not leak it to anyone. Got it? May worry not. The others are ignoring me. I shall give this operation a name. It shall be known as Op 
Don't need one. Let's start. What? But... You ruined my climactic scene! Damn you, Assistant. This is an outrage. Afterwards, the D-mail experiment. Its name is Operation Erd. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is an Erd? The eldest of three Norns, goddesses of fate in North mythology. The three sisters tend the world tree Yggdrasil, which has roots in Erd's fountain. Erd is the Norn of the past. Okie dokie. While we're there, let's do another save. His name is Operation Erd, though I lost my chance to announce it. it. Continues for two hours. Lots of saving. Yeah, not sitting and doing that shit again. <laughs> During that time, every D mail goes back in time without a hitch. It's time to take a break. We're all hungry, except for Mayori. We've been up since last night. Go ahead and rest. I'm gonna have a go a little longer. She's been going at it for hours, and she's still full of energy. It's hard to believe she was so opposed to time travel research before. Her scientist's blood must be on fire. We've made a number of discoveries. But we can wait to assess them until after we eat. Daro and I leave the two girls to watch over the lab as we go shopping at the convenience store. We return from the convenience store to find the Braun Tube Workshop one and only part-time warrior standing in front of the building. She's stretching. What's up? She notices me and calls out without stopping her exercises. What shenanigans are you up to this early in the morning? Shenanigans? This girl has a thing for unusual words. The kind you wouldn't believe. We're building the first time machine in human history. Huh. Cool. Shouldn't you be more surprised? Can't blame her for being skeptical. I didn't think it was possible either. And isn't that top secret? I thought you didn't want anyone to know. Part-time warrior, please keep what I just said secret. Sure. By the way... Part-time warrior glances at the Braun Tube Workshop. The boss is really pissed. Why? The noise. Whatever you're doing up there, it's got the whole building shaking. Dust everywhere. Kind of like an air raid. He's saying stuff like, What's that nutcase doing? And I'm gonna raise his damn rent. Maybe you should go apologize. Oh boy. What if he kicks us out? Alright. Leave it to me. Daru, go tell my assistant to lay off the experiments for now. I'll do that. I won't forget you, soldier. Daru salutes, then races up to the second floor. By the way, is Makise Kurisu up there, too? Yeah. Come to think of it, she did pick a fight with Christina yesterday. Have you met before? Um, no. Yesterday was our first contact. First contact? That's a strange way of putting it. Oh, really? You a little hostile for a first contact? She's... my enemy. What? I barely heard her. Her voice was so low. I'm going to ask her to repeat herself, but Suzuha is staring at the ground in silence. She obviously doesn't want to talk about this. Did she call Kurisu her enemy? That doesn't make sense. How can she be your enemy? You just met, right? Yeah. Did she do something to you? Not to me. What does that mean? Did she do something to someone else? If you want, I can go talk things over with Christina. It doesn't really matter. Maybe you're blaming the wrong person? 
Jeez, give it a rest. She hits me with a glare. Anyway, shouldn't you apologize to the boss instead of talking to me? <laughs> Actually, I'm getting cold feet. But I, Hohoing Kiyoma, the mad scientist who brings chaos to the world, I can't falter now. I steal myself and enter the brawn tube workshop. Part-time warrior follows me inside. I have come. Mr. Braun is sitting in the counter inside, sitting at the counter inside, slurping delivery ramen. Even when I enter, he doesn't look away from the huge 42-inch CRT. It's showing some news show report from some celebrity divorce. Part-time warrior doesn't say anything. She's just going to stand there and watch him rip me a new one. Hey, Okabe. What the hell are you doing up there? Straight to the punch. He doesn't take his eyes off the TV, nor does he stop slurping his ramen. Yet despite his sedentary posture, he, ex he exudes extraordinary pressure. But now is not the time to falter. We're currently conducting experiments that will change the course of human history. The discoveries we make today will shape the world for cent. I don't care what games you guys play. I'm the owner of this building, got it? And the building's really worn out. You keep shaking it like that, it could bring the whole damn thing down on our heads. But keep quiet about the dent on the floor. <laughs> Very interesting, Mr. Braun. Don't tell me you forged this building's earthquake safety certificate. What if I did? Holy crap. Maybe we should seek shelter soon. It's been properly reinforced. But regardless, you guys are still shaking it too much. Huh. So what if a few, so what if a few buildings collapse? What's that? As I said countless times before, our current experiment is of vital importance to the, hu the history of science. No, the history of human civilization itself. It's more important than prolonging this building's lifetime by another ten so measly years. The building starts shaking again as soon as I finish speaking. Flakes of concrete start falling from the ceiling. The 42-inch CRT image goes to static. Damn it, Daru. What are you doing? I thought I told you to stop the experiments. Okabe? He's glaring at me. The ceiling is falling, you dumbass. Some of it got into my ramen. What are you going to do about it, huh? No more shaking. Or I'll raise your rent by 10,000. What? If you raise it by 10,000 yen, we're ruined. Leave it to me, Mr. Braun. On my honor, I swear there won't be any more shaking today. With that, I race out of the Braun tube workshop. Christina, stop the experiments at once. When I burst into lab, I find the three of them in the middle of lunch. Ayuri is a juicy chicken number one. Daru has a convenience store boxed lunch. Kurosu's eating cup noodles with a fork. Sorry, Okarin. Miyushi tried to warm up some chicken. I accidentally put it through the reverse rotation, and then it started sparking. I see. I sent you an email. Didn't you get it? Your sarcasm is not appreciated, Christina. You know as well as I do that my phone is still attached to the phone wave, named subject to change. I disconnect my phone from the phone wave name subject to change while grinding my teeth. One more, please. Stop screwing around. I'm the one who has to deal with Mr. Braun. But I gave you five days advance notice. Well, yeah, the timestamp's from five days ago, but... Was he mad? Yup. I could feel his killing aura. Daru turns pale, but the two girls don't seem to care. They know not the wrath of Mr. Braun. Ignorance is bliss. Anyway, no more experiments today. Well, at least we got some good data. Then Kurosu hides her mouth with her hand as she yawns. I'm dead tired, and my hair's dried out. I want to take a shower and go sleep.
I sigh and take a boxed lunch out of the convenience store bag. It's cold, so I toss it in the phone wave, name subject to change, and set the timer normal. If you want a shower, there's one here. It doesn't have a bath, though. Oh, this is Mayori. If you want a shower, there's one here. It doesn't have a bath, though. Okarin always uses it. It's probably filthy. I'd be lying if I called it clean. The entire building is in shambles. Anyway, I refuse to use the same shower as Okabe. I understand. Nobody will blame you if you don't use it, of course. Since the three of us stayed up here all night, we're all pretty smelly. <laughs> Damn it! What do you want? Lukako. Are you familiar with Garo Froggies? They were a huge fad last year. We have tons of them at the shrine. So if you like, could you take a few off our hands? Dad bought a whole box home for some reason. He said they were for me. I don't know what to do with them. P.S. I was so bewildered I couldn't do any practice swings with Samidari. Oh. Uh, yeah, reply with the Garo Froggies. Those weird looking frog things that were popular with teenage girls in Shibuya last year. If I'm not mistaken, they came out with a wide variety of them. Send. Yes. Okay. All right, sure. Sorry, no, I don't know why that took me a second. Given the sweltering heat and the fact we kept the windows closed all night, I bet this place is smelling pretty rank by now. That's why I'm going back to my hotel once I finish eating. Curse who slurps her cup noodles indignantly. I bought them at her request. She was raised in America, yet she likes cup noodles? Strange. That'd be not far. I'm, I've never been to Japan. I like cup noodle every now and then. <laughs> it's not healthy. Yes, talking more about frogs makes everything better. Of course. Yeah, you know, jelly man. Black holes. Let's talk about the frogs. Celebrity bath time at a high class hotel. I want to come too. Not a chance. Mayushi wants to come too. You can come anytime, Mayuri san. Really? Thank you. I take my warm food out of the microwave, take a fresh bottle of Dr. P out of the fridge, and join in on lunch. Hey, Okarin, I've been wondering. Why do you drink soda while you eat? Doesn't it, does it make it taste better? I don't really see a problem. Me neither. Same. I don't give it a second thought. Eh? You're acting weird, Mayuri. It's normal to drink soda while eating. It's normal. Duh. No objections. No way. You guys are the weird ones. Well, I'm sure a pure Doc Purian. Well, I'm a pure Doc Purian. Daru loves. Oh, this is like Dr. Pepper person. Daru loves cola, like a typical fat otaku, Jesus, and Curse who lives in America, home of soda. So I admit our opinion is biased, but that doesn't matter right now. Now let's discuss Operation Erd's progress. Operation Erd? Oh right, thanks to a certain assistant, I didn't get a chance to present the operation's code name yesterday. Heed me, these D-mail experiments are part, all part of Operation Er- The experiments have been fruitful. She interrupts me again. At the very least, we learned what we can do with D-mail. Kurzu places her empty noodle cup on the table and retrieves the whiteboard from the development room. While the rest of us eat, she scribbles on the whiteboard, then puts it up against the wall. Oh, Christ. Um, that about sums it up. Anything to add? Nothing especially. She summarizes the vital parts. Mayuri has her mouth half open in a blank stare. She clearly doesn't understand. A D-mail can be at most 36 English characters or 18 Japanese characters long. That means that makes experimentation difficult. So we'll want to improve that first. Furthermore, each D-mail is split into 12 character segments. 
If you send 36 characters, you'll get three 12 character emails. If you try to send more, everything after the 36th character disappears. Well, we figured out how to control it when it arrives. It's pretty good, right? Though we can only set it in one hour increments, we can control how far back D mails go by using the microwave's timer. Observation isn't enough. We need to find the underlying principle. What I've written here is nothing but verified phenomena. The underlying principle, you're right. It's not a complete time machine until we understand how it works. What could be the reason for the character limit? Daru and Kurosu remain silent. Um... Suddenly, Mayuri, who has been staring at the ceiling in confusion until now, raises her hand. Chicken and bananas become gel chicken and gel bananas, right? But salt doesn't turn into gel salt, right? So much gel. According to Mayuri, the refrozen chicken had indeed been jellified when she tried eating it. Kurosu's prediction was right. And you can send 36 letters in an email, but everything past that disappears, right? So I think maybe you can't send big things, or a lot of small things. Maybe the curve of a black hole... Uh, it's cur, black hole. The curve of a black hole... <laughs> cur, black hole. The black hole's hole is too tight. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, why, why? Stop, Happy, no, stop, no! Happy, why? Happy, no. Mayushi, say that one more time, starting from hole. The hole is too tight. Outrageous. Stop making her say stuff like that. Mayuri has flowers for brains. She's e so, so she's easy prey for Daru's perversions. It drives me crazy. The hole is tight. Huh. That might not be entirely wrong. Maybe we have the same problem CERN has with their time machine. Since they can't fully control the lifter, they can't make the singularities perfectly naked, which limits how much they can send. Anyway, 6 Japanese or 12 English characters comes out to 12 bytes. English characters are half width, so they only use one byte. But full width Japanese characters use two. Bytes. Not kilobytes. Oh. So oh Maki see. Oh my Yo! Goodness. Yo, whoa, yo! Whoa! <laughs> oh, yo, um. Uh, oops, oh, mm. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I just got. I, uh, sorry for the timeout. Uh, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Uh, double Raid, apparently. Thank you, uh, Foxify and, uh, and Spuff. Thank you. <laughs> double Raid. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Welcome, Raiders. Uh, my name is Petrus Torelia Demonian IV. I am the Crown Elven Prince from the Kingdom of Morana Dorai. And welcome to my stream. Today we're playing uh, a bit of Steins Gate. Damn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, I need to change Nightbot to just allow caps. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I am. So oh, it's 15 seconds. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I originally put it on because I was afraid people would, like, spam bad things. <laughs> Overzealous Nightbot is something I am not strange to. Yeah, I'm probably going to turn off the cap limit just altogether. But welcome, welcome. I, I appreciate the, the raids. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. A double raid. Were you guys... Did, did you guys, like, play together and plan that, or...? Oh, thank you. Thank you, um... Shut up, TM. <laughs> Thank you for following. But yeah, we're just uh, we're just uh, playing some Steins Gate. It's uh, it's picking up. So you guys uh, you guys joined at a at a good time. 
So Makashi's bad with computers. Huh. Is that so, Assistant? Sh shut up. You don't see things measured in bytes nowadays. I was just making sure. Pog? Yeah. By the way, one kilobyte is 1,024 bytes. One byte is eight bits. Yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, email is just comprised of... Hey, thank you. Thank you. Ebazeb? E e Ebazeb? Thank you. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm learning so much. A whole new world. It's a whole new world that we in. It's a whole new way to see. Hey, thank you. Uh, Spuff165, thank you. Thank you for following. Well, email isn't just comprised of text. There's more to it, like the sender and the receiver's email addresses, the header and various other things. Hey, thank you, brother, brother, Kion? 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 <laughs> drink. Oh, I got a drink. Hold on. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Petrus Torelia Demonian the Fourth, Crown Prince. Hedgehog is here to serve. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So roughly speaking, we can send data in three batches of 12 bytes then. By the way, I don't know if using a subject changes anything. <laughs> that meme is worth it. Oh, the uh, the All Might? <laughs> Oh god, I've had that. That's been the only alert. For literally every every alert on my stream is that because I was super uncreative with it. I was like, ah, oh, you know, this is funny. <laughs> all night, all night. <laughs> you know it, baby. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that chicken and bananas have to be larger than twelve bytes. How do you measure a banana in bytes anyway? Since each grain of salt is tiny, it's possible they could have been converted into less than 12 bytes. So larger masses get crushed by supergravity. Mass might not be the issue here. These are the real questions. Yes, what is the data amount of a banana? How to measure banana in bytes? <laughs> how many doc? How many bananas can I stick on my HDD? Marty! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> mass might not be the issue here. Data doesn't have mass. You wouldn't download a banana. <laughs> God, I remember those fucking commercials. Oh, they were... They were something else. It's like, these like super like oversaturated, over edited, just like garbage film <laughs> shots of, of people committing crimes with like flashing text that would come up you wouldn't download a car it's like what <laughs> yeah pirating's bad guess what the, the only things people worth pirating are from people that can afford their stuff to be pirated so <laughs> But, I mean, that was a different time. That was... Shit, that was like 15, 16 years ago. I remember those... I remember those specifically on the old uh, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. I remember those. Because I remember I watched the shit out of Spider-Man 2 so many times. Fuck you, I'm downloading the car. You can't stop me. Like 18 years ago. Oh, I feel old. I would absolutely download a pizza. <laughs> I... Yes, uh... Uh... Pirate Bay, hello. Yes, can I uh, can I pirate one of your uh, deep dishes? <laughs> what? <laughs> In any case, since the singularity isn't naked, the object is forced to pass through the event horizon. Inside the event horizon, time and space switch places, causing the subject that arrived at the, the ring singularity to reach ultra high speed. Yo, I heard Pirate Bay and deep dish. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, 
those things go together like uh, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Pirating and deep dish pizzas. It's just common sense. I mean, if you're not if you're not doing that, what are you doing? <laughs> Pirate pizzas. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to turn off links, too. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn off links. I'm going to have to turn off. Oh, boy. I'm so sorry. The data crushed and destroyed by super gravity is shot out of the black hole. As a jelly man. But even a small mass has to pass through a super gravity. How does it emerge unscathed? It was a clip. I know, I'm sorry. I've completely neutered Nightbot moderation. So annoying. Let me change him. Let me go find him. Hold on. Nightbot.tv. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, spam protection. Is this it? Access caps. Options. Um, limit, I don't know, 60. There you go. If you put more than 60, if you put more than 60 caps, you're, you're asking for it, I feel. Access emotes. What do I have this on? 20? Bump that up to like 35. If you put more than 35 emotes, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're not sending the message. Links. Um, uh, just disable, just disable links. <laughs> They can send all links. Okay. It, that should be good. You should be able to, like, do things now. <laughs> I apologize deeply. We're doing it live! Oh, yes. Most professional streamer. Right here. I have, uh... <laughs> streamer editing bot live? Wow. I know. Crazy. I am, uh... Perhaps one of the few streamers <laughs> that reached affiliate, uh... In such a short amount of time that I did not prepare emotes. <laughs> so... <laughs> they're in the works though they are in the works they're coming soon I promise you that okay let's actually play the game <laughs> it's so professional I know it's me Mr. Professional at your service duh if the hole is too tight then just inject more electrons I don't think it's that simple. I mean, I'm sure CERN's tried that already. And yet they haven't gotten any results after nine years of experiments. It's not as simple as increasing the flow of electrons. I see. CERN has a lifter. We don't know what in the phone wave is filling the same role, much less how to adjust it. Royalty doesn't equal professionalism. Exactly. All right? I was a prince long, long time ago, all right? This human world, completely different. A lot of things have changed in my time. I've been here a long, long time. My kingdom of Morana Dorai is but a distant glint in my eye. Petrus the old man, I am indeed, I'm, I am very old, even for an elf. But to maintain some bit of secrecy, I, uh, I keep up with the times of fashion. At least I hope. I think hoodies are in. As long as, uh, you put a, a blazer over it. You going to sleep now? Hey, thanks for coming out, Spa. I appreciate it. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, good night. Night-night. She has a point. He is handsome. Fucking 4,000 years old. The audacity. Hey, alright. I have you beat. I have you beat just a smidge. Just a, just a hint, just a little bit. Just by a hair. I, uh... This October, actually, I will turn 10,998. So, you know. I guess be ready in just over two years for my 11,000th birthday. <laughs> I, I've returned. Sorry to call. Oh, no problem, man. <laughs> yeah. I gave myself enough time, hopefully, to figure out 
how to actually be a professional, <laughs> I guess, uh, in two years' time. That is, the, that is the time limit I set for myself. I'm like, I want to be a professional by this point. I want to know what the fuck I'm doing. And so help me God, if two years rolls around on my birthday and I still scuffed as fuck, <laughs> oh boy. We don't know what acts as the lifter, but we do know that it has successfully created a path wide enough to send approximately 36 byte, bytes of data through the ring singularity. I don't get it. Mayori, finished with her chicken, looks at us in confusion. Think of it like an RPG. The ring singularity, the entrance to the event horizon, is the gate to the Demon Lord's castle. D Demon Lord? Hundreds of soldiers attack the heavily fortified Demon Lord's castle gate. The soldiers use their magic called Lifter to force the castle gate open. They can only keep it open for a moment before it closes. During that moment, only 12 soldiers can break through. The soldiers can only use the lifter's magic three times. The 36 soldiers that make it through the gate return triumphantly as the heroes who slew the demon lord. Oh, my. oh hey! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, Foxfly. Thank you for subbing. I think we'll go now, though. It's not able to meet you talk. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for solving. That's <laughs> that's crazy. Thank you. Have a have a good night. Yeah. Good good sleep and all that, Jazz. Good sleep. Christ. Have a good have a good have a good night. <laughs> have a good sleep. <laughs> the heroes. Uh. The uh, Demon Lord, uh, what, what was I reading? Hold on. <laughs> that is, that, that completely threw me off. I apologize. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Soldiers left behind are imprisoned by the Demon Lord's minions. They're taken to the castle's prison cells and turned into slimes. The heroes save them after defeating the Demon Lord, but unfortunately, they go home as slimes. So the soldiers who went home as slimes are jellymen? But there's an exception. Soldiers can combine into a super soldier with the strength and size of a hundred ordinary soldiers. The super soldier has the power to defeat the demon lord alone, but since his body is too big, he can't pass through the gate, even when it's opened by Lifter. And so, deprived of his magic's effectiveness, the weakened super soldier is seized by the demon lord's underlings and sent home in a defeat as a giant slime. Who's the thick boy on the right? This is Daru. <laughs> this is Daru, an absolute unit of a man. Fat otaku, perv, joke, comedian, character relief. <laughs> I swear to God, I, I actually know writing terms, believe it or not. Um, and just all around uh, great guy, honestly. He's, he's a super, super hacker, as the game, as the game says. Comedic relief. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Happy. Thank you. Can you, can you tell I'm nervous? I've been double rated. <laughs> I apologize. Combining soldiers? That's just silly. Thick hacker boy. Yeah. Thick with uh, three C's. It's okay, take your time, you're doing great, Chief. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. It's to illustrate that the object can't be too big. I get it. That's really easy to understand. It is? It's a dumb metaphor, but I guess it works. At least as an explanation for why things get jellified. <laughs> it's all thanks to Mayuri's hint. Mayushi was helpful? I'm also really bad at women's voices. So I apologize for that. But I wanted to I wanted to do a visual novel about an anime that I liked. And Steins Gate's my favorite anime. And I wanted to do voices. Because I really like doing voices, but I'm awful at women. <laughs> yeah. 
Great insight, Mayori. <laughs> Yay! But it's still a hypothesis. It hasn't been proven. How would you prove it? With a human experiments like CERN? If Okabe and Hashida-san volunteer as test subjects, I'll happily experiment on you. Human experimentation sounds kind of dirty, if you know what I mean. Oh boy. <laughs> but I refuse. I'd rather play the doctor than the subject. Same here. No, not in the way he's implying. Idiots. Curse who gives us a cold stare and shrugs her shoulders in exasperation. As I keep saying, the real problem is what the phone wave uses as a lifter. That and one other thing. How come the discharge phenomenon and jellification only happen during a certain time frame? We may not understand everything, but we've perfected the art of demail. Isn't that our final answer? Sending mail to the past is amazing, isn't it? I guess it's not a real time machine unless we can send people to the past. Even CERN has failed to send humans through. If you believe what Teeter says, it won't be another, what, 24 years before there's a true time machine? D-mailing. Yeah. Okay. All right. I assume, I assume you've never heard of Steins Gate. Okay. So they're sending emails to the past, right? And they came, they, 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 they had a whole fucking discussion about, about how, uh, they're going to name it because the, the phrase sending an email to the past is too long. So eventually they came up with the name D-mail, all right? Because it's an email that you send to the past. And what's the letter before E in the alphabet? D. It also can be referred to as sending your dick pic into an email, but, you know, let's just not think of that. Let's just, you know, let's just cruise along on our happy little boat. <laughs> the most unfortunate letter, I know. I'm sending a D. Please wait for the snail mail. Oh boy. Oh fucking. <laughs> you fucking. You, you take a photo of your dick. And then get that shit like photo printed, and then you send it with a in a letter to someone. <laughs> it takes like fucking three weeks. <laughs> no response. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Do the fucking nice guy thing. How dare she not reply? Laminated, sealed with wax. <laughs> sealed with wax. <laughs> get the little get the little stamp. Even CERN is fit to send humans through. If you believe what Teeter says, it won't be another, what, 24 hour oh, read that. I answer Kurosu's sarcastic question with a nod. Signed, I hope this finds you punctually. I already send letters. Don't give me ideas, Petrus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Happy no. Oh boy. The physical time travel is impossible for us at the moment. We lack the funds and the facilities available to CERN. And yet we have realized a form of time travel. We have sent data to the past. We should investigate the phone way further. We need to understand what's going on. I have some fun ideas for how to use D-mail. know how you feel, but we can't today. If we shake the building again, Mr. Braun is sure to blow a gasket. He'll raise the rent or kick us out of the lab. We can start experimenting again tomorrow, but this, I will declare now. I step onto the couch and take a look at each lab member in turn. You have to take off your shoes. Oh, I thought that was the declaration. You have to take off your shoes. It's dirty. Today, uh, what day is it? August 2nd. August 2nd, 2010 is a date which will live in infamy. For on this day, we, the Future Gadget Laboratory, have developed the first successful time machine in the history of mankind. It's not the first. CERN beat us. And you can't even say we developed it. It happened by accident. Hmm. Seems my assistant doesn't know the meaning of the word serendipity. Penicillin, x-ray machines, dynamite... These inventions were, were mere born from coincidence. 
I guess. But Chris Chan, you said that before that the time machines don't exist, right? But now you admit they do. It's just that I have to admit it, admit it for now. If we investigate how the phone wave works, it might turn out to be something that only seems like time travel. Does nobody have any respect for my grand declaration? Don't complain if I take all the credit for inventing the first, second, whatever, time machine in human history. The 66th Roundtable Conference ends here. Dismissed. Wait. There was a, that was a Roundtable Conference? I didn't know that. That's even the 66th. Who cares what kind of table it is? The person who gets up and from her chair and stretches. I'm gonna go back to my hotel, take a shower, and sleep. What's next, carrier pigeon? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, my chat didn't... My actual chat in my stream preview didn't show that message? There, there. It's showing Happy's message. Okay, I guess it just timed out or something. Petrus, don't you, like, have school tomorrow? I don't. I only have school... on Tuesdays. I have digital school. But there's not, like, meetings. It's just doing assignments. Because, you know, I'm so glad I pay teachers to... copy-paste a bunch of shit between classes and be like, Yeah, you learned it. I see, carry on then. I will. But thank you for worrying, Happy. <laughs> At least I got someone out there looking out for me. Mayushi has to go to work soon. I'm incredibly tired, too. Let's just sleep today. When I lie down, I find myself unable to sleep. Though part of me is still frightened by the dark secrets we were uncovered, the curiosity and excitement are too much to bear. We've built a machine that can send emails to the past. It's like a dream, but it's real. And it's ours. As I start thinking of ways to use it, my imagination spreads out to infinity, driving the last vestiges of fear from my mind. I'm standing in absolute darkness. How long have I been here? I can't remember. I can't move. I can't feel. I can't see. The world is empty. No, not empty. A voice resounds in the blackness, as if whispering in my ear, as if screaming from far away, as if dozens of people around me are speaking at once. Where am I? You are beyond the event horizon where time and space switch places. Suddenly, the darkness is dispelled. An ocean of stars fills the heavens. The sight is breathtakingly beautiful. However, one point in space lacks stars. I notice that point. I stare at that point. My body starts to fall. I'm falling through the sea of stars. No. Not falling. I'm being pulled. Pulled into a rift of utter darkness from which not even light can escape. In an instant, my consciousness has exceeded the speed of light. Stars flash past and, and vanish from sight. I don't know why that word gave me so much issue. Light itself is but dust in my wake. Logic screams that this cannot be. Nothing can move faster than light. That would contradict the theory of relativity. You aren't moving. That voice again it comes from behind, overtaking my faster than light consciousness. At the same time, it seems to lie and wait at my destination. Why do I hear Christina's voice? 
you aren't moving. Those same words. Remember what I said. Here. Space and time switch places. You can't move through space. But your time is stretching out to eternity. I accelerate. I can hardly breathe. It feels like something is crushing my body. One second for you, an eternity for me. As I observe you from a distance, I see you as a still object. I fall. I'm pulled to the depths of the dark, or perhaps to the end of the universe. But even beyond the speed of light, I'll never reach it. Am I looping? No, that's not it. It's the end running away from me. That's not it either. Stretching. What is stretching? Space? Me? Don't look back. Eternity is not infinite. Time stretches towards eternity, yet it has an end. Something approaches. It approaches slowly, a stark contrast to the stars flashing past. Is it really approaching? It looks like it's standing still. Its slowness gives it that illusion. I don't know what it is, but it is something. The event horizon. I try to reach towards it, but my hand won't move. Don't look back. You will see only yourself, trapped in a second stretched out to eternity. I'm slowing to a stop, but still, I keep falling. The end never comes. A sim an a sim fuck me. <laughs> an asymptomatic approach to zero. That's not the word. I just I supplemented something. Um when will this second pass? Time and space have switched places. A second stretched out to infinity. One second becomes 0.1 seconds. 0.1 seconds becomes 0 0.01 seconds. 0 0.01 seconds becomes 0 0.001 seconds. Alrighty, Petrus, I'm gonna lurk later, bud. Yeah, thanks for thanks for staying uh, lurking, brother. I appreciate it. 0 0.001 seconds. 0 0.00001 seconds. 0 0.00001 seconds. 0 0.00001 seconds. 0 0.00000001 seconds. 0 0.00000001 seconds. When will I arrive? Gradually, time shortens. Gradually, my perception of time lengthens. Face forward. Struggle on. No matter how close I get, I can never reach. To the Demon Lord's Gate. Suddenly, her words take on an amused tone. The Demon Lord's Gate. You don't have the key. You can't pry it open. I try to shout, but my mouth won't move. I mustn't look back. And this is deep. Yeah, this is this is visual novel only. This is new to me as well. <laughs> this was not in the anime. You will be captured by the Demon Lord's minions. Pictures from the Jelly Man's report flicker through my brain. My body. I want to look back. I want to look back. Is there a fucking thing going? What the fuck? Is that a, hold on, did I just get a fucking email? <laughs> Wait a minute. I assume I can't pull out my phone. Let me try. Can I pull out my phone? I cannot pull out my phone. That makes sense. I want to go back. Phone goes off in the middle of a monologue. Why is there another one? I can't look back. I can't go back. I face towards the thing. I face the future of becoming a jelly man. While frozen for eternity.
Uh, uh. Roused by a melody, I slowly open my eyes. Instead of an ocean of stars, I see the lab's familiar ceiling. Ugh, what a bad dream. It's bright out. What time is it? My phone is ringing. Because I have mail. Alright, I'll pull it out. Oh my god! It came like you said, Okabekun. You promised me the IBM 5100, remember? Are you there? Your windows are open and the lights are on. If you're there, could you open the door? I'm out front. This was at 9.10. Mail team again. I told her to stop with the spam. I want to read the rest of them. Hold on. Hold on. There's a bunch of them. So that was at 